We finished nine repairs in the vessel and we have fully inspected all nine of those repairs and we're very pleased with the results. We have one repair remaining and right now we've completed all the weld development stage for that repair and we're into the final reliability training before we go in the vessel to execute the final repair. Because of the complexity of this final repair, we've undertaken a very well planned out development process to prepare ourselves for this weld. And at the end of the development stage, we held a review, a workshop with external experts. In that session, we challenged ourselves, is this the right repair? Has it been adequately developed? Are the risks addressed? And do we have a proper path forward to execute this? Is there a high level of confidence that it will succeed? So that was the tone of the review. And the conclusion of the workshop was, yes, the repair method that we're applying to this final repair is appropriate. And yes, we've completed the well development to demonstrate that we're on a solid platform to move forward into the final stage. And so what this is, is a segment of the inside of the vessel. And what we've done is used all of the remote welding tools in the mock-ups here in NRU in order to simulate the sequence of weld operations. And so what this shows us for the final repair, there are nine plates. So three columns of three plates. And the first weld operation is to attach these plates with two tack welds on the outside. After the plates are positioned, then we apply some additional tack welds at the cross points between the plates. And then we perform vertical groove welds here and vertical fillet welds on the outside. And then we go into a similar sequence of horizontal weld operations where we do horizontal groove welds across here and horizontal fillet welds across the top. And what that does is effectively seals these plates to the vessel wall and provides a structural connection between these plates and the vessel wall. And then we begin another series of weld operations which is horizontal buildup, which we've applied in all the other repair sites. So this shows the, the horizontal buildup in a segment below and we have to build it up in this case to a four millimeter thickness. We'll apply horizontal buildup up here to four millimeters like a window frame around these plates. And then finally, we'll do a thinner layer of buildup, three millimeters in thickness across the top and out here on the side. And that will be the final weld operation. So we'll end up with a repair of weld buildup, a combined weld buildup and array of nine plates that's this size. When we go in and do the final repair in the vessel, we're looking at about 11 days of welding operations in order to execute this final repair. But it's not just the number of weld operations, it's also the site, how thin the wall is in the vessel, how large the repair area is. And, and finally, another very important factor is physical obstructions in the vessel that we have to reach around or reach between in order to access the repair site. And so this last site combines all of those factors together. In fact, last week, we went in the vessel with all of the weld tools in a dry run and we ran the tools over the repair site mocking up all the operations that we need to conduct to make sure that the physical geometry of the vessel is exactly as we've got it represented in the 3D models for all the tooling operations. We've been very careful in how we're approaching this because we know we have one chance to get it right. So we do all the practice outside the vessel, make sure that we're ready to go, and then, when we go in and do it, like we've done nine times previously, we'll get it right. And then when we inspect the, uh, the final repair, then our next step in the operation will be to introduce heavy water and inspect for leaks. When that passes, then we'll begin the full return to service operations, begin uh, installing the final reactor components, returning the final systems to service, and, and back to operations.